Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at some of the lights that we currently have that are using that Cree XML LED. New LED from Cree, uh, really high output, nice and efficient, has a lot of really good features about it, and uh, a lot of companies are using it, making some really cool lights with it. But so these are some of the lights that we have that are billing themselves as tactical lights, so good for military and law enforcement. Uh, we're going to go through the lights real quick, show you the quick and dirty versions of them. If you want to see the in-depth, we have in-depth on all of these, so just check out our other videos. So the lights we have here, Through Night Scorpion, 4.7's Maelstrom X7, Lumatop TD15X, Claris XT10. Here the four lights are in a little bit better arrangement to show you the difference in the size. Uh, obviously, if you like the larger light, Scorpion is the way to go. If you like the most compact light, the XT10 is the way to go. All have the clips, all have anti-roll rings or the combat grip ring, whatever you want to call that. Stainless steel bezels on these three, stainless steel tail on the TD-15X. These three come with holsters. The Scorpion was supposed to come with a holster but did not out of the packaging. It is available, um, but in the packaging it does not. Same battery options all of, on all of them by default, either two CR123s or one 18650. TD-15X will take more batteries uh, with extension tubes, but by default it just takes the two CR123s or an 18650. Now, here's where a lot of the differences come in, are in the features of them as far as the interface and uh, what they can do. So let's take a look at that. First up we have the Through Night Scorpion. Big thing that sets it apart is this ring on the back that you can turn to adjust the mode. So, all the way to the right, you have momentary strobe. So press that switch and it's going to be strobe and it's just going to be on as long as you hold it down. One more to the left, press it and you have your max output momentary. One more to the left and you have your adjustable output. I'm pressing and holding it and that's how you adjust the output. It's a really slow ramp so it's kind of hard to see that it's doing it. But uh, it is actually adjusting the output. You can see it's all the way uh, up now and then it'll go back down. And when you see the one you want, you just release it, and then it'll be set to that until the next time you adjust it. One more to the left, and you have your really low output mode. So really good for conserving battery life, or low light situations. Really good for that. And then one more to the left. It's kind of hard to uh, figure this one out because it doesn't say it in the instruction manual. But if you lightly press the tail cap, you'll have a lockout. So that way when you press the switch, it won't turn on on you. And then you just press it and pop it back and then you'll have your regular modes again. Through Night Scorpion. Next up is the 4.7's Maelstrom X7. Really similar to the Maelstrom G5, just using that XML LED. Nice big reflector in there for that XML smooth reflector. Get pretty decent throw on this. Not as good of throw as the G5. So if you want uh, the throw, go for the G5 version, not the X7. Other than that, pretty similar. So you have momentary switch on the back. Press it all the way for constant on. And you have two different mode groups with four modes each. You get to them by turning the head. The one we're in right now has the four different outputs. And then if you loosen and tighten the head, I believe it's three or four times. So you do one, two, three, four, and you'll see it switch into the other mode group. So you have the, the max output when the head is tightened strobe, SOS, and then a beacon flashing mode is the last one that's down in there. 4.7's Maelstrom X7. Lumentop TD15X is the next one. You can see the reflector LED down in there. There's a switch on the back. Momentary, if you lightly press it, click it all the way for the constant on. This is the one I was talking about where you can add on extension tubes so you can keep on adding on extensions to take more batteries if you want to on this one. To switch the modes on this one, just loosen and tighten the head. And you have strobe and the three other outputs. Obviously the lower ones are going to give you better battery life, better for low light situations. Uh, max output, there's your max output. Alright, that is the Lumatop. TD-15X. Last one we have here is the Claris XT-10. Two switches on the back of this one. Kind of neat. So you have momentary. If you press the big switch, you can see the two switches here. Here's the main one. Here's the secondary one. So press the main one. 
you get your momentary, click it all the way for constant on. Secondary switch from off, if you press it and hold it, you get strobe. And so you're going to have strobe for as long as you're pressing and holding that. Now when the light's turned on, if you hit it, you'll see it'll switch between the three different outputs. This one has a really good implementation of a tactical interface, something that we uh, hear a lot from military and law enforcement customers is that from off, they want to always be able to get to that max output. They don't want it to have a memory. They don't want it to come on into a low mode or anything like that. That's what we overwhelmingly hear from especially law enforcement. So this one doesn't have a memory. It will always come on into that max output from off. And then you can hit the secondary switch if you want to drop it into one of the lower outputs. Now you still have access to strobe from off. To get to it, just press and hold that secondary switch and then it'll go into your strobe. So you always have access to strobe no matter what mode you're in. Something that uh, the other Claris lights have the feature of. Pretty neat feature. There's the LED and the reflector down in there. Alright, that is the Claris X-T10. Showed you all the features and functions of the, of the lights. Let's go ahead and take these outside. We'll see how they do outside. Before we go outside, I just wanted to show you guys the four beams lined up side by side. Keep in mind that I don't have the white balance set for this, so this is going to be a little off, and uh, this is a beige wall, not a white wall. But it'll give you an idea of the beams. You can say they all have nice, clean, smooth, even beams. That's about three feet away, so you're going to get really good beams even up close. And uh, same order that we had before, from right to left, you've got the Scorpion, the X7, the TD-15X, and then the X-T10. All right, let's go ahead and take these outside, and we'll see how these do outside. All right, we're out here with the 4D mag light. We're going to be comparing it to those lights. I'm not going to do the distance shot on this one, uh, so keep that in mind. We did do, do it in all the other videos of these, though. So if you want to see the distance shot, just check out the in-depth videos for each one of these. So there's a little bush about 15 feet away. Tree out there at 100 feet. We'll zoom in on that. Not that great. Same as normal. All right, here is the Scorpion. Max output. Whole lot of light coming out of that. It's basically like a wall of light. And uh, not just what I'm pointing it at, but everything around it is lit up as well. Shine it around just a little bit so you can see how it does at different distances. But I mean, even at 100 feet, you know, that tree, that's a good, uh, probably 20, 30 feet tall. Whole thing's lit up. Alright, here is the X7. You can see similar amount of light. A whole lot of light coming out of that. Almost the whole tree's lit up. It's a little bit more focused. Shine it around just a little bit. There you go. There's an angle that'll you can see the amount of pollen that's coming through the air. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, I might pass out here in a few minutes, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right. So there's the X7. Let's try out those other couple of lights, see how they do. Next up is the TD-15X. There you go, there's the TD-15X. Zoom in on that a little bit. That'll shine it around a little bit. So one thing that you'll see is these all have kind of similar beams. Um, pretty similar reflectors on these. A little bit larger ones on the TD-15X. I believe it's a little bit larger, and the uh, the Scorpion, and then the XT10 actually has orange peel, so it smooths out the beam really, really well. It's not going to have quite the other the throw of the other three, but it does a really good job of just lighting everything up, providing a really clean, smooth, even beam. But there you go. That's the TD15X. Last up, here's the uh, the XT10. There you go, there's the X-T10. You can see really, like I said, clean, smooth, even beam. Lights up that ridiculous amount of pollen really, really well. <laughs> Shine it around a little bit. We'll zoom in just so you can see how it did compared to the other ones. All of these obviously have no problem lighting up that whole tree, everything around it at 100 feet, no problem at all. And like I said, if you want to see further distances, just check out the detailed videos for each one of these. Um, I did it at 100 yards so you can see how they throw um, and see how they do it just a little bit better, longer distances. Alright, so that is the current batch of the Cree XML tactical lights that we stock. 
Through Night Scorpion, Four Sevens Maelstrom X7, Luma Power TD15X, Claris XT10. If you like any of them, you can get them from us at GoingGear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at GoingGear.com.